seemed like the Celtics and the Lakers were in the finals every year when I was growing up. In fact, when I was in seventh grade, my junior high team played the preliminary game and at halftime of Kuzi's last game. <laughs> the NBA playoffs, that's how much the NBA's changed. We were, they allowed little kids teams to play at halftime of the NBA finals. I loved everything about the Celtics. I loved their, their history. I loved uh, the persona of Red Auerbach. I loved uh, uh, having a chance to be able to play with uh, Satch Sanders, John Havlicek, uh, Don Nelson, to be able to, to join that team with Red still in control, and Tommy Heights coaching the team. It was, it was a dream come true. And a 15-point lead is West Hall with a great drive. If it was a close game, the Celtics were winning. Uh, they'd, they'd call a timeout and Heinsohn would call three plays. And the first one would work and the second one would be a back door off that play and the third one would be a back door off that back door. And, and we'd get a basket every single time in the clutch because of how together that team was. And it was just such a, a beautiful picture of how basketball can be, about how these guys are, really didn't have any particular agendas other than to win and they knew how to do it. And so out of all the teams I ever played for, that probably was the team that um, really had it figured out how to, how to play NBA basketball. The Boston Celtics, 1974 champions of the National Basketball Association. I came in and I was with a great team. And they, they won a whole lot of games for the three years I was here. And it, it seemed like that's the way uh, it's supposed to be in the league. It's not the way. It, it, it's hard to it's hard to win a championship. It's hard to have a team that has a chance to win a championship every year, and you don't want to take it for granted. Oh, that ball! That shot is good. I don't think I would have been in the Hall of Fame if the Celtics didn't draft me, but uh, just the way things worked out, it's uh, it's one of the most important times in my life, and uh, you know, there's such a a, a bond. And I think anybody that's played in Boston and uh, been embraced to a certain extent uh, never really gets it out of their system, and uh, that's the way I feel.